Since the state passed the school voucher bill, the Department of Education has been working to get that program set up. Up to 7,500 vouchers in the first year could be issued to students whose families meet the income qualifications. News Channel 15's education reporter Elizabeth Fields joins us live in News Control with the details about how this program is coming along. Well, it's rushed, Mark and Heather, as you can imagine. Families and schools have to qualify first, and then there has to be an application process, and all of this has to happen before school starts in the fall. Now, there's reports that more than 100 schools of private and parochial schools have been applied to the state to be eligible to accept those vouchers. We should know within the next week how many are approved. Today, reps from the Foundation for Education Choice were in town to make sure that parents know that they do have a choice. Robert Enlow says even with all of the awareness, he's not sure of how many of the vouchers will actually be claimed. Given the late date of trying to get schools enrolled and signed up and parents signed up, you know, we're going to see some growth, but I don't, I'm not sure we'll hit the cap. Well, if, again, if Indiana is like other states, you'll see a slow but very steady growth over time. You may remember that the teachers union has filed a lawsuit claiming the program is unconstitutional because taxpayers shouldn't be forced to pay taxes to support religious institutions and uh, places of worship. Under the new program, those private schools would be receiving state money. Coming up tonight at 6, hear from a superintendent of the Catholic schools in our area about how he thinks that the program will affect his schools. Reporting live in News Control, I'm Elizabeth Fields, News Channel 15.